Natalia and today we are going to talk about the audit of payroll. Payroll refers to the process by which employee receive their salary. Payroll includes salaries, wages, commissions and bonuses. Paid sick and sick leave are also included in the payroll as it is expenses for the company and benefits to the employee. Employer also needs to deduct amounts such as EPF and stock sold from the payroll at the end of each month. There are mainly two departments that manages the process of payroll. The first department is HR or mainly known as Human Resources Department. And the second department is Payroll Department. Two departments rely on each other to process payroll check to the employee. Human Resources Department takes care of employee relations and record while the payroll department determines the amounts or wages of salary due to each employee. There are six main functions in payroll transactions. The first function is hiring employees. Hiring and dismissing employees is managed by HR. Salary scale, job description, and employment contracts are also determined by the same department. HR is mainly responsible for documenting employee details in personal authorization form and then keeping the data in a personal master file. happen there must be different person to manage both duties changes on job specification and salary scale for an employee can only be made by an authorized personnel in hr if you follow the same process as other data for hiring and dismissing a personnel if a revision is made a revised personal authorization form will be forwarded to the payroll department for processing payments in a case of termination, HR should immediately forward a termination notice to the payroll department. This is to ensure there are no continued payments to the employees. Third function, preparing attendance and timekeeping data. Most companies use electronic or computerized system in order for maintaining attendance and timekeeping. To record employee attendance, you might use a punch card or electronic fingerprint scanner or even computerized system login. Thus, attendance and total hours work for each employee will be properly recorded and kept. But there are also a potential misstatements where payroll overpaid for amount of work that are not performed. situation is supervisor must authorize all of the punch card. They must see if the name department and all the information such as our parade is the same as the employee. Hi, my name is Nishamani Minti Zanudi. Okay, from the earlier information that had been given, uh, there's two departments that manage the process of payroll. Uh, first department is HR or mainly known as Human Resource Department and the second one is uh, payroll department. My other member has explained, had explained to, has explained to all of you about HR department. So now I'm going to explain to explain about about payroll department. Payroll department determine of wages, 
or salary due to each employee. There's three functions in the HR department while the other three in payroll department. The fourth function is preparing the payroll. Preparing the payroll is used to calculate the payroll of the entity. The, sal the salary will manually update in the payroll system or autom automatically update using an integrated system with some application control that managed by HR. The payroll department also prepare a payroll register and an independent check will be performed to ensure reasonable of the amount based on the hours work. The control procedure that we can manage the misstatement is use of computerized payroll system with appropriate application control. The fifth function is recording the payroll. Coding the payroll should be established to ensure all transactions are recorded and there are no unrecorded payroll liabilities. In addition, the amount of payroll need to be recorded accurately. There are several steps when recording the payroll. The amount calculated by the payroll system are entered in the payroll journal. The payroll register will be supporting document for the payroll journal. The control procedure is control total for payroll register are checked against total amount of payroll journal. The last function is payment transaction. Payment transaction are updated in the payroll record. The following are some control over payroll payment which should be established by an entity. A. Indication of payment should be made to the payroll list once the payment is made to avoid resubmission of dupli duplicate payment. B. The custody and mailing of che checks should be the responsibility of the change signer to preventive or alteration. The control procedure is identification of employee on distribution of check. Thank you everyone for listening. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye.